everybody welcome back to my youtube channel hope you're all doing well and welcome back to a brand new video today's video if you haven't already guessed by the title is going to be our monthly primark haul now let me just tell you primark is transitioning like literally when i went in the, right this is going to sound really stupid and some of you are going to hear me for this but some of you are going to love me for this for my autumn winter gals and boys out there you're going to love it for the people that love summer and don't want autumn winter to come you're maybe not going to like it as much but Primark is transitioning they had literally right I could look to the right and there would be bikinis swimwear everything in the sale by the way because obviously summer's nearly over and then I looked to my left and there was beanies there was jumpers there was knitwear there was coats there were scarves there was gloves they are bringing back all of their autumn winter clothes and i am so excited don't get me wrong there wasn't much of a variety i feel like it wasn't the best time i went to primark purely because you could tell they're trying to kind of get rid of their summer stuff and they're bringing in their autumn winter stuff so there wasn't much of a variety of either but I don't know about you guys but I am done with summer now I'm over buying summer clothes I'm over the summer fashion I'm ready for autumn winter I mean I feel like I say that all year round but I really really am ready don't get me wrong I've loved summer this year I've really really enjoyed it but I'm just over it I'm ready for like cold cozy nights bake off Christmas films candles I'm just so so excited and I feel like it's got to that time now where I'm like right come on is it raining do you know what I mean? One thing that I certainly am over is buying summer clothes. So when I went to Primark this time, in my head, I knew that I didn't really want to buy anything summery because it's the end of August. Do you know what I mean? I feel like buying summer clothes now is a little bit silly for me because for me, as soon as we get into September, autumn is here. I know autumn doesn't officially start to like, is it 22nd? Could be wrong, but I know it's the 20 something of September when autumn officially starts. When actually is that? Let's Google it. I'm sorry. But if I said I was an autumn gal before, that has just confirmed that I really, really am an autumn girl through and through because it is literally the 22nd of September. I got the date bang on and that was a pure guess. But anyways, my point was, I feel like as soon as it goes into September, I know we've got like 22 days until summer is officially over, but it's autumn for me. For me, it's like September, October, autumn, November, December, Christmas. That's how my mind works. September, October, all the autumn stuff, all the autumn candles, all that cosy, cute stuff, and then November, it's Christmas, which I'm so excited for. So excited for, but as I was saying, definitely wasn't the best how I've been to Primark because they are transitioning. They had some summer stock, some kind of autumn stock, and not a lot of eat. One thing they did have, which I absolutely love, and it always makes me feel like autumn winter's coming, is they had like all of the really cozy pajamas. You know, like the Disney pajamas where you get the bottoms and the top. They had really fluffy dressing gowns. They had like the hoodies that you can wear. They had all of that kind of stuff in. Loads of slippers, bed socks. What else did they have? The homeware was popping this time, so I bought a couple of bits from the homeware as well. Like, they had good candles, they had good vases. Literally, they even had coats in. I mean, there wasn't much of a variety, it was like three, but they did have it. They had woolly jumpers, again, not much of a variety, but they had them. We're going in the right direction. So anyways, if you can't already tell, I'm very, very excited for the upcoming months. I just felt, as I was walking through Primark, I felt inside. It sounds silly, but I felt inside, like in the autumn spirit like the smells that i could smell from the candles and looking at all the autumn stuff i don't know i know it sounds so so silly but i just felt like in a really autumnal mood when i was walking around primark and it was pouring it down outside as well so that probably added to it but yeah if you haven't already guessed i'm very very excited for autumn winter and i know some of you out there are going to be like shut up we're still in summer and i know and do you know what? i have actually enjoyed summer and i have enjoyed the hot weather but I feel like I'm kind of over it now. Anyways, without rambling on too much because I've literally just talked for six minutes about how much I'm excited for autumn winter. If you are excited for this new in Primark haul, then please don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up. Like I say, not the best because it was transitioning. However, I did pick up some really, really good bits. So I'm just gonna kind of randomize it as always. You guys know the drill. Actually, let's start off with homeware because the last few times that I've been to Primark, I felt like the homeware has just not been, not been there. But like I said this time the homeware it wasn't like peak wasn't the best it's ever been but it is slowly getting better and that's because I feel like Primark are going to shine in the autumn winter I feel like they're going to bring out some really good bits I feel like all homeware shops shine in the autumn winter there's just something about candles and coziness and throws and rugs and 
it, it just more it's, it's just better in autumn winter isn't it when the weather's colder like in summer you're not sat there thinking oh i need to go buy some candles and get cozy i mean i am but i know that's not a normal thing to do in the summer so i feel like primark is gonna peak and it's slowly getting there so first couple of things that i bought from the homeware section i have been looking for a new vase for our bedroom window and our little box room for the longest time because currently we have like these really thin glass vases and the reason we've got those is because when we moved in they had we had really really like thin windowsills that like really really they were like that thin like no joke so i had to find vases that would actually fit on the windowsills however as you guys know last back end of last year we did a bit of stuff to the house so we're like we redecorated with the panelling we got new windows throughout the house so with getting new windows it means we've got thicker windowsills so now we've got like a really chunky normal size windowsill i don't need to have them really thin vases anymore so i've wanted to find like the perfect white vase for both rooms for the windowsill and i haven't found any and then i walked into primark and it's like primark had read my mind and knew exactly what i wanted so I picked up two of these vases. Now they are like that concrete material. I don't even know if the camera's really gonna do it justice, but they're like a concrete material, which I absolutely love. They go perfectly with our bedroom because if you guys have seen, our bedside lamps are very similar to this as well. So I feel like it would match perfectly. And they're white as well, which is perfect for our bedroom. So I actually picked up two of these. I don't plan, I mean, I don't know, I need to have a bit of a play on, but I don't actually plan on putting any like flowers or anything in there. I feel like it might just look nice as like an ornament. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think I should put like a, a few flowers or something in it? Or do you think they'd look good just as they are? But yeah, this is just so my vibe. Like, absolutely love it. We'll go with the bedroom perfectly. And they were £10 each, which I think is really good. I feel like these are very H&M Zara home kind of vibe. But I absolutely love them for £10 each. So I got two of those for the windowsills. Next up from the home section, the candles are improving. I don't know if you guys remember me saying, but the last couple of times I've gone... Primark candles, they've just not been there. They've been non-existent. And when I went in this time, they'd properly restocked the candles. Now, there weren't loads and loads that I like because you guys know that I'm quite fussy with candle scents, you know. I like, like, I'm going to say it again, but I love, like, the autumn Christmassy kind of scents. I love cinnamon. I love gingerbread. I love, like, mum's baking kind of vibes. Like, that's the scents that I love in candles, which is probably another reason why i absolutely love that time of year because i just love the candles and the smells and the scents and everything like that but anyways i saw this candle and first of all i really like the style of it it's like a chocolate brown color with like a cork lid which i loved love the size of it as well i thought that was a really nice size not too small not too big and when i saw the scent said linen i was a bit like oh because the scents that i'm really not a fan of are like linen cotton like fresh scents like that are just not a bit of me but no word of a lie if you go to Primark, right, seriously, if you go to Primark and you see this candle, please smell it and tell me tell me what you think it smells like because that does not smell like linen. That smells like cinnamon. And I'm not joking. Like, I don't know how they think that smells like linen because it doesn't. So anyways, as you can imagine, I'm in Primark already feeling this, like, autumn kind of mood and then I smell this candle and I'm like, oh my God, get me to home scents because that smells exact. that's like my perfect scent of candle. It is so nice. It's not too... I say it smells like cinnamon, but it's not like a really, really strong cinnamon smell. It's like a subtle cinnamon smell. It smells absolutely unreal, and I'm so excited to burn that. It smells like something I know. I don't know what it is. But anyways, it's absolutely amazing. If you're going to Primark and see this, please just smell it and come back to this video and put it in the comments what you think it smells like, because... That, I'm telling you now, that does not smell like linen. But anyways, that was £6. I picked that up. And I think that's actually all I got from the homeware. Oh, there's a couple more bits, actually. But yeah, I was obsessed with that. And that just made me feel like in such a happy mood smelling it. Look, I know what date are we even on. We're literally in the middle of August. But, I mean, that's not too... It's not like I'm talking about it in May. I mean, I know I was, but it's not like it's May. Do you know what I mean? Anyways, last few bits that I did pick up from the home section were these... What even are they? Scented room sashes. Not gonna lie, I don't think I've ever had these in Primark. I could be lying. You probably like L. I've seen you do a haul on them before, but I don't remember ever having these in a Primark haul. I don't even remember ever buying them from Primark. But I walked past them, and it was a picture that sold it to me. And look, I know I'm sat here talking about autumn and coconuts, more like a summery scent, but I love a coconut scent. I feel like it's such a nice smell. 
So I walked past, saw that picture, and I was like, mmm, that looks like it would smell nice. And there was loads of different ones. Um, and then I smelt it. Like, I can smell it from here. Like, I can smell it from the bag. It's that strong of a scent. And I smelt it, and I was like, oh my god, that smells unreal. Like, I'm such a sucker for a nice scent. Like, nice scents make me really happy. These were literally a pound each. I got four of them. Um, and like I said, they're scented room sachets. So I don't know whether to couple of options do i stuff them in like cushions so when you sit down like you get a whiff of it or do i put them in our wardrobes because i feel like that would make your clothes smell nice i know they're not wardrobe ones but i feel like they'd still make your clothes smell really really nice i feel like i might stuff them in the cushions but i'm not 100 percent. but like i said they had so many different scents but this one just smelled unreal and um, they cost one pound each and i got four of those moving on to clothes the first thing that i picked up was this beautiful striped top and i feel like this will be a perfect top to wear in like the autumn especially when you're transitioning and it's not too cold but it's not too hot at the same time it's like long sleeve kind of weather but you don't want to wear a coat I thought this would be perfect. It's a really thick material. It feels like a really, really good quality. It's got quite a high neckline. It's not like roll neck, but it's not like really low either. And as you can see, it's like this dark green and cream striped. I'm not gonna call it a jumper because it is a top, but it's a crop top. And I feel like this would look really nice with like some cargos or some jeans. And you could get away with wearing this on its own, especially in early autumn because it's not cold, is it? It's like cold enough to wear a long sleeve top but it's it's not warm enough to wear a short sleeve top is what i would say so i feel like this is the perfect transitional piece they also had it in blue and cream so it's like a, a bright blue with the cream as well exactly the same but the blue was the green and um, but i just absolutely loved it i feel like it's such a nice top like i say such a nice material how much was it 10 pound i picked it up in a size small but like i say it feels like such a nice thick high quality material so i love that I then saw this shirt. Now, Primark had loads of shirts in, and it weren't just like the thin shirts either. They had like more thicker shirts, but obviously for the transitional piece. You guys know how much I love a shirt. Like, I feel like for me, shirts are an essential in my wardrobe. I wear them all the time. And I feel like they are so versatile as well. Like, you could put a hoodie underneath them and layer them. You could put a race back top or a crop top underneath. You could put something like this i mean they obviously don't go together but you know like a cropped long sleeve top i just feel like they're so versatile and go with pretty much anything and i don't actually own like a gray color like this so i picked this up it's like a really nice soft material it feels lovely and um, i picked it up in a size 14 because again you guys know that i love things to be oversized and the one thing that i loved about this it does go down a bit at the back so it is a little bit longer at the back but it's not like you know you get those shirts where it like really goes long it's not like that it just kind of does it a little bit i did actually try this on and it's the perfect oversized for me i absolutely loved it and this one cost me nine pound like i said they had so many different shirts in there like loads of different colors loads of different styles and for nine pound i think you can't go wrong i then noticed these tops which i've not actually seen before and i feel like again these would be perfect especially for transitioning but i also think they'd be perfect for layering up as well when it does get cold um so i bought these what are they bodies they are a body but they're like just a long sleeved just plain standard top now they had them in so many different colors and they had these in so many different styles if you watched my primark haul last month you'll have seen that i got some t-shirts exactly the same but instead of long sleeve they were t-shirts they also have the same but vests as well so they have such a variety literally have them in pretty much every single color so there really is something in there for everybody um but i really liked this gray color i thought it would go with everything i thought it was a really nice color um, I picked it up in a size small and it cost £5 and like I say it's a body so I feel like this would be perfect to wear with joggers, jeans, cargos, um, like jersey style shorts, leggings, I feel like this would go with so much and this would be perfect under a shirt like this. Um, for £5 I think you can't go wrong and it's a lovely stretchy material as well. And then sticking to that theme, chocolate brown. Now, chocolate brown is one of my all-time favourite colours. I absolutely love it. So I picked up the exact same one, but in this lovely chocolate brown colour. Same size, same price, just a different colour. Um, next thing that I picked up was some more of these seam-free wireless... <laughs> are they a bra? I mean, I'd call them a sports bra, personally. But these tops from Primark are just the most comfortable tops ever. Um, and I really liked the colourway. So you've got like a pink, a lilac, which that's my favourite and then a cream and they are padded but i think can you take the padding out 
Let's have a look. Yes, yeah, so you can take the padding out. But I just find these so comfortable to wear day to day. I feel like all the little cropped tops and like sports bars in Primark are so, so comfortable. And I find myself grabbing for these every single day. Um, so yeah, pick some of those up. Really, really nice material. It said that they were made using recycled plastics as well, which is always a good thing. Um, how much were these? It doesn't say on them, but I feel like these are about £10 usually for a pack of three, which I think is really good. And like I say, really nice kind of ribbed material. So I got them. Okay, one thing that I picked up from the men's section, I actually got these for Tom. Tom's been looking for some cargoes and he keeps saying, I need to order some, but then he never sits down and looks, but then always says he wants some. So when I was in the men's section, I saw these black cargoes. So I picked them up for him. He's not yet tried them on. The only thing is they're, they're that weird, you can hear it, that weird material, which I'm not really sure about. But well, the thing that I liked about these is first of all, I don't know if you can see, but they fasten up like this, so you pull them, which I thought was good. I got them a size large, because obviously you don't want cargoes to be too like tight or anything, and you want them to be quite oversized. Um, it'll have to show you what they're like in a haul or something, but yeah, I got them a large. They cost me £18. They've got pockets and everything, obviously, because they're cargoes. But one thing I liked about them, Tommy likes cargoes where they're like straight leg. But if you ever did want to wear them cuffed, it's got like this little bit here where you can pull it tight and make them cuff. So you could let me show you what i mean you could literally do that or you could make them straight leg which i thought was quite cool they had a few different colors in these as well but i just thought black went with everything and like i said they were were they 17 or 18 18 pound so i'll let you know what he thinks to them i've not actually shown him them yet actually this next thing this is so me i picked up this pink makeup bag now a how nice is that color how nice is that shade of pink love it but the main reason that i picked it up was because it was like one of those makeup bags like a flat one and i felt like this would be really good like a travel bag i thought it'd be good for that but it's kind of like that as opposed to like all my other makeup bags are like stood up like that if that makes any sense whereas this is one that lays down which i thought was quite nice it's a really nice size as well it's quite a big makeup bag so you'd fit quite a lot in it um and i loved the color i just thought that was such a nice shade of pink that cost me £7. And then sticking to beauty products, I then picked up, obviously, some cotton pads. I mean, can you go to Primark and not pick these up? No, you can't. And every time I do go and don't get these, I regret it because I get home and realise I've not got any left. These are the best ones. I really like, like, the big oval-shaped ones. And these are 70 pence. No, they're not. They're 90 pence. How many do you get for 100 oval cosmetic pads? Cannot go wrong with those. I then picked up some more of these hair boggles because I actually went into Primark a few weeks ago and picked up some black ones. And they're the perfect stretchy bobble. Like they're really stretchy and really thick and they don't snap. I picked them up in this colourway as well. So you've got pink, purple, grey and cream and they cost £1 for a pack of 12. Really, really good hair bobbles of those. Like they keep, you only have to wrap it around twice and I've got quite thick hair because I wear extensions. And it doesn't feel loose, it feels really sturdy but doesn't feel like the bobble's gonna break, if that makes sense. Next couple of bits that I got were some makeup pieces. Now, I nipped into Primark the other week. It wasn't for a haul, um, but I noticed that they had some really nice, well, they look to be really nice lipsticks. So I picked one up to try, and I have been obsessed with it. Now, I am not like a matte lipstick kind of girl. I like, like a, what's the word? Does it sound here? Is it like a smooth? There's a word for it. It's not matte, it's the opposite to matte velvet no that's not the right word you know what i mean i just don't like a matte i like like a smooth smooth just not the right word is it velvet is it a velvet lip let me know in the comments down below if you know what it's called the opposite to matte i like that um and i picked one of the lipsticks up last time i went in like this pinky nudie color and it is so nice i do find that lipsticks are quite drying on your lips and make them even drier than they actually are and these ones don't do that at all the one that i bought i've literally been wearing constantly and it only cost 90 pence so i had to pick up some other colorways in it um so i picked up in the shade barely there which is like this really really light nudie pink color and then i also picked up this shade here which is just a little bit more of like a darker nude. What shade's this? Toast. So you've got toast and barely there. And they literally cost 90 pence. So don't walk, run to Primark for these. And also whilst you're there, get some of that brow pencil because they didn't have any in this time, but I did pick up quite a few last time. So I didn't need any, but if they were there, I would have got them because I need to literally stock up on them because that is the best brow pencil ever. So if you go to your local Primark, 
these and the brow pencils are absolute essentials get 50 because they are so good next thing that i picked up was a towel hair turban now i have got one of these but i've had it for quite a while and it's gone a bit funny and stained and things so i just thought i'd pick up another one um it says it on it it says it on the tin it's just a towel for your hair it feels like a really nice quality as well it feels like a really nice toweling material um and that cost me two pound i then picked up some more of these trusty socks i love these i think i've talked about these a few times in hauls before and um, i think they are yeah they're sport socks so it says that they have ventilation mesh arch support even though i literally have no arch in my foot i'm the most flat-footed person you'll ever meet um and cushioned sole but i really like these these are like the perfect kind of sock you know when you wear leggings and then you put these over your um leggings and then you wear trainers these are perfect and they literally cost i think three pound fifty the tag isn't actually on but they have them in black and gray as well and they're honestly so comfortable and you get a pack of three so i always whenever i see them pick a pack of those up and then last few bits that i've got so firstly i got a lip liner never tried a primark lip liner before i actually bought one the other week when i got that lipstick but i haven't actually opened it yet so i just picked up another one just in case it was one of those things that i loved again i picked it up in this lovely kind of nude color but it's like a bit of a dark nude and the shade is a foxy nude i thought that'd be nice to try if the camera's focusing and then the last two things i definitely got a sucker did at the till because you know when you walk into the till in primark and they have loads of stuff in the like on the way to the till don't they i always get suckered in by the food like the tic tacs the mints the chewing gum and that's exactly what happened this time so firstly watermelon chewing gum now you guys know how much i love watermelon i love the scent i love the taste so I thought I'd pick this up, I'll try that in a second. And then I also got these extra, extra large smint in strawberry flavour. Okay, firstly, the strawberry smints, 10 out of 10, love them. And secondly, I mean, I know this chewing gum's going to be the one of the ones where, you know, it really tastes strong and then it goes. Mmm, love that as well. They had this in loads of different flavours too. They had strawberry, they had cherry normal mint can't remember what else but the cherry one i nearly got that but i thought i'd try the watermelon one and i think that is everything that i picked up from primark this month like i said primark's now going through that stage which i feel like all shops are where they're transitioning out of summer into autumn which we're not going to complain about but i don't feel like the shops are like peak at the moment i feel like they'll start to come out in the next month or so but saying that i am also really happy with the things that i've got i feel like primark you can never just go in there and come out of nothing like i can anyway i always come out with a bag full every single time um but yeah i think my favorite thing of the haul these vases exactly what i've been looking for and of course that candle because that is such a nice smell and please if you go into primark smell this and just come back and let me know what you think it smells like because I'm sorry that's just not linen anyways i really hope you have enjoyed this primark haul if you have then please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you haven't already then don't forget to go down below hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a video as always thank you so so much for watching and we shall see you in the next one bye